crucial to solving this conundrum is reconstructing the ecological context in which the Titanosaurs lived. Dr. Paul and his colleagues have found other rich remains in the Patagonian fossil beds, as well as this range of other dinosaurs. Sir David explains, why don't, why don't know why, we don't know why they grew so big. It's entirely speculation. But the basic logic is what if what food did that needs a lot of digestion, a lot of vegetation around that uh, that that time was extremely fibrous, and and then you need to keep it in your stomach for a very long time. Then you need a very big stomach and a very big apparatus to carry it. In addition, he said, one of the defences that elephants have is they are very big and it's hard for predators to bring them down. They can, they can be arms race where the predator gets very big and the prey gets bigger still. The DJ Pollets, an adult animal, this this week had no predators, that's for sure. Not even these, the largest carnivores, dinosaurs, would have dared to attack one of these. One of the, one of the juveniles was probably subject to predator predation. We know, for instance, that titans form nesting grounds elsewhere in Patagonia, where hundreds of dinosaurs got together during the rip, reproduction season. That's a classic strategy to protect the young. The, the researchers have found the most teeth of carnivores dinosaurs from the La Belcher farm site. Many belong to the Carcharandontosaurus Car Car called so-called shark tooth Dinosaurs, which in sound has a response to Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here's the bones of Tyrannosaurus. Wow. The Titanosaurus appeared to have been a fleeting ex evolu experiment testing biological limits on extreme size and it's when possible to know which of the specific conditions that favoured such massive beasts would lead to change hastening their extinction if that is indeed the way it happened whatever such sin scenarios bring to bearing the present day species which have involved in a particularly el el ecological context. They are now under threat as humans transform the environment and around them. I asked Sir David how far we should go to persevere uh, the, to, pers to preserve those species that are most risks and of us disappearing from our planet. Um, with any species you choose, there's a whole like, cluster of answers to that question. What do you do, for example, with the giant panda? You could argue that the giant panda relies on eating a large amount of boo bamboo, but bamboo forests are getting smaller and smaller. It's highly specialised. He says, but on the other hand, it's part of natural world that we are part of. It, the this isn't sen, sentiment that I talk that I talk about. It's a whole suit of things of curiosity. Curiosity. Curiosity, of affection of. Per perspective on 
of evolutionary creation and and would think that humanity was simple nature neglecting it in her even in her inherent inherent if it simply allowed it to go sir david adds the problem as ecosystems are highly complex and are like pieces of clockwork you can take a cog out of the clock and they still tell the time but you don't know to do it might stop immediately you don't know no long term effects when you when you interfere on an ecosystem follow paul on twitter Is that it? I want to watch another. I want to go back. Is that the end of the article, darling? Yeah. Okay, say bye. Bye.